We're the travel hacking teachers, and for the last five years, we've been working and raising our family overseas. In today's episode, we are driving two hours south of Abu Dhabi to the port city of Ruiz, where we load the ferry to Dalma Island in search of an off-the-beaten-path family camping adventure. All right, so made it onto the Dalma Island ferry. And as you can see, they just pack them in here pretty deep. And uh, Kelly and the kids are upstairs in the family room, so let's go see what that looks like. Got lots of nice snacks aboard, drinks, you got chips, and my favorite, cookies, candy bars. We are settled now on the ferry. We've got about two hours before we make it to Dalma Island. Oh. And there's a wolf on board. So we are making our way to Dalma Island. So the cost of the ferry is pretty reasonable. The car was 100 dirhams. Kelly and I each had to pay 20 dirhams and the kids were free. So I believe it's under 12 is free. So again, for uh, 140 dirhams, we get this uh, two hour ferry across to Dama Island, so again, a pretty good deal. Time for the bathroom tour on the boat. There are two bathrooms uh, on this boat. There's the men's bathroom and there's a women's bathroom down the hall, but the bathrooms are nice. They've got a uh, kind of a wash station for prayer. They've got two different stalls here for the toilets, uh, but no toilet paper in either one of these. And the uh, sink is nice. There is soap uh, that's working, that's great. Uh, but with the uh, no toilet paper thing, there are hand towels, so ultimately, uh, it's a nice bathroom, a good size for this boat, and uh, yeah, nice clean bathroom to use while you're here. Two hours later and we are spotting land right over there. And the town looks really well developed. I'm, uh, I'm de definitely surprised by uh, all the buildings. It's going to be uh, definitely a well-equipped city, and I believe there's a playground just off of the boat, so we're going to hit that up first. Yep. First stop. Okay, so we have made it to this first campsite. I'm going to talk more about that in a minute. Are you guys going to go throw rocks? I think we're going to go throw rocks. Okay, so the kids are down throwing rocks. Uh, Kelly and Forrest are going to join them. While they go throw rocks, I'm going to discuss this book right here. This is the UAE off-road uh, book. It's filled with all types of trails and routes, all to explore the UAE and Oman. So what we're going to do is use this book uh, as a reference point as we knock out a bunch of road trips across the UAE, which is what brought us to this island in the first place. So this is organized, again, by different routes, and we're here on Route 33 on Dama Island. So you already saw the ferry, but this is what I want to show you um, and why this book is such a good resource. So we took the ferry here and it landed us in the ports. So what we've decided to do is drive all the way around the island and sort of check out uh, the coastal drive. This route here takes us up through the mountains. We're gonna do that tomorrow. Uh, we just wanna check out all the different campsites around the island to see where we're gonna stay for the evening. So either way, using this book as our guide, we were able to organize ourselves to get onto the ferry. Using the maps, we're hitting all the little waypoints uh, each one of these, these letters E and D, yeah, correspond to different informational bits uh, on the routes. I'm pretty excited by uh, this book and using this uh, UAE off-road as a guide. Uh, again, this is our first route. We jumped right to Route 33 to do this island adventure. And uh, the book was uh, instrumental uh, in helping us plan everything. So we are keep finding all these crazy things on the beach. Um, not sure exactly what it's from, maybe a squid or something, but it's pretty hard and looks kind of cool. Comment below if you know what this is. 
so again, still at this first campsite, all these, uh, you know, porous rocks are beautiful. And just everywhere you look are, you know, beautiful shells. Just, I mean, the, the beach is just littered with shells. So if your kids are into collecting shells, uh, definitely here on Dalma Island, that first stop is, uh, is a good spot for shell collecting, that first camp spot. Okay, so we are now at the second campsite. And again, as a frame of reference on the map, we were here, we've traveled along the road. This spit is really cool. We're up here. Now, this campsite, for me in general, it's, you know, it's it's a nice campsite, but it's, uh, I don't see as many shells over here, you know, but it is peaceful. As a frame of reference in the book, we again drove all around the island and now we're way out here on the spit. We're going to get dinner prepared here in just a little bit, but at this point, being so far out of town, I imagine we're going to have a really nice evening full of stars. Uh, the kids are behind me collecting shells again and ultimately uh, a beautiful spot. I mean, yeah, it's going to be a, a nice place to fall asleep listening to the uh, ocean come in. So before the sun goes down, let's give you a quick tour of the sleeping arrangement uh, in this little pop-up tent. So definitely going to be cozy. Over here in blue is me, Kelly's going to be in green, and Cedar is going to be over here on this blue-red sleeping bag, and Granite is going to sleep lengthwise uh, in this orange sleeping bag. Now Forest, he's either going to be wedged in between Kelly, uh, me and Kelly, or Cedar and Kelly, we don't know yet, but ultimately it's a nice tent. It's uh, We have five people in this three-person uh, tent, but I think we're going to be able to make it work. So the coolest thing about this tent is going to be the view uh, for breakfast. Just take a look at what we're going to see when we wake up in the morning. And that's just right out of our tent door. And the crazy thing is nobody else is here. We have this entire place to ourselves uh, on Dolama Island. It is beautiful. It's gonna be nice to wake up to that uh, with some hot coffee in the morning. Okay, so we are snuggled up in the tent and we are settling into some games of Spot It before we call it a night. So we've got this cozy little tent for three, uh, but five and of us. We have this game. Spot It. And forces take the drums. Woohoo! All right, bing, we'll see you bing, in the morning. Bing. Good night. All right, it is 6.45 in the morning, and we're going to take a look to see what our uh, view is out the window. <laughs> 7 a.m., and I think it's time for some coffee, don't you, Forrest? Yeah, yeah coffee time for sure. Okay, so our first breakfast is going to be strawberry oatmeal. It's uh, jungle oat so easy. So we'll give it a go. Strawberry yogurt flavor too. So, so again, here at the uh, Dama Cooperative Society grocery store, it's huge. There's going to be everything you'll need uh, on your supplies if you're going to do a beach run at uh, in Dama. This grocery store is big. It has all the supplies that you'll need. We are now at this uh, mountain road, and if you look at the map again, we are right here, and we are about to drive right through this region, past this military base, and out onto the beach. So, according to uh, off-road UAE, yeah, this is this is that road, and yeah, should be nice sights up there, good views of the water. We'll see when we get up there. We are up on the mountain now, and we came across this farm. There's a bunch of animals. I don't see any people. 
but we've got sheep, goats, donkeys, just all across these pens. You know, the animals are really friendly and it's a really cool spot to check out, especially for kids. It is beautiful. The sun is shining, the beaches are white, the water is clear. And again, we're the only ones out here. It's crazy. So we're gonna do, uh, we do a little snorkeling next. I don't know if you can see this, but there are probably 15 to 20 dolphins right out here on the horizon and they just keep playing over here in this little bay area. Okay, so now I want to talk about the food situation. Uh, with the co-op grocery store in town, you really don't need to bring a bunch of stuff from Abu Dhabi or Dubai with you to the island. Uh, we did not know that coming in, so we brought a variety of bananas, plums, uh, apples, fruit, things like that. We also picked up a bunch of ramen style noodles and I'm gonna cook up some of those now just since we have them. All right, noodle time. So here's a quick uh, little hack on s'mores when you're camping. So obviously you're gonna need your marshmallows but these uh, digestives already have the chocolate sort of on the graham cracker, so they make a perfect little uh, conduit to get the marshmallows uh, from the stick to your mouth. So if you're gonna be camping in the UAE, these digestives are a great, uh, a great little uh, hack for s'mores. So just take a look at this place. It is beautiful. And again, we're the only ones out here. It's uh. It's definitely, if you're in the UAE and you're sort of uh pretty, uh, 20 dirhams each for the adults and the kids are free. So just to have paradise to yourself is, uh, I mean, that's, that's awesome. So Dalma Island is definitely recommended and especially with the kids. Uh, a lot of great stuff to do out here. Good morning, Granite. Good morning, Dad. Morning. So another very cool feature here in town, kind of in the city side of Dalma, is uh, all these playgrounds. As we drive around and kind of enjoy the sights, there's at least three of these playgrounds that are just up throughout the city. So this one is great because it's right by the beach and it's sand covered, super soft and uh, really well maintained. So yeah, great place for the kids. So behind me here is the Dalma Museum. Now, unfortunately for us, it's under renovation, so we don't have access to it today. But what's so cool about this museum is it really gives you the history of Dalma Island and the important role it played in the UAE pearl industry in the 1950s. So from what I saw on YouTube, on the inside, there's pearls, there's storyboards, uh, again, all about the island and that uh, significant era in history. So hopefully when you come out here, this will be open. Um, it's kind of an interesting location, smack in the middle of the roundabout. But uh, yeah, unfortunately for us, it is just closed today. So hopefully next time. So in conclusion, I would say coming to Dalma Island is an awesome opportunity for you and your family to experience off the beaten path travel. Uh, the fact that you, you know, it's a two hour drive from Abu Dhabi, then you take the boat across is very cool. And uh, that, it, that in itself is a good experience. On top of that, we were able to go camping on the beach by ourselves. We had a bonfire, we had s'mores. There's a grocery store in town to get snacks. We went to the animal farm, we had falafel. Plus, uh, the ocean water is amazing, so snorkeling was really fun. We got to see little fish just off from our campsite. We had a little bonfire. So again, this is, uh, you know, the effort to get here, I don't think it's too much. And when you are here, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised by how beautiful Dalma is for off the beaten path travel. 
especially if you're looking for a place that's just super chill, laid back, and just a place where you can relax. Yep. So if you like what you've seen here today, do subscribe and hit the bell notification to get all of our latest episodes, including travel throughout the UAE and the rest of the world. <laughs>